Hello, welcome. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. Hey now. <laughs> welcome to episode three of Trusty Hogs. We're very excited to be. No, we're not making the snort a thing, Helen. Don't you think that's cute though? Like I, a little sort of like. You say it every time and I, I don't think it's cute. Every time it's episode three. Like, well, that's enough. That's all of the times we've done it. Welcome to Trusty Hogs. Yeah. Silence. Silence. <laughs> <Please>. Beat. <laughs> episode three. With me, Helen Bauer. And me, Catherine Bowart. We're going to talk about. The huggiest hug of all. No. <laughs> you <laughs> the worst part is we both worn like baby hog pink today so, so we look like hot little pigs to the fog step for the trusty hogs yeah you're gonna give them your problems and they will solve them or maybe they won't and that's your problem they'll have guests and andrew white on the tech The trusty hogs, trust the trusty hogs, or maybe not. So welcome back. This is episode three. We're going to talk to you about our weeks. We're going to talk to you about our gossip. We're going to talk to you about our pain. What I've am I saying? So much gossip. Do you? Not really. No. I mean, it's been like an intense week for me on Pokemon Go, but that's pretty much my main that focus. That's not the same as gossip. But I feel like four new Pokemon have been released. Wow. I don't have time. Listen, we're not getting into. And the one of them looks like a poodle. <sighs> Mooch, are you dying? Uh, yes. A hundred percent. Yeah, we should also explain we're missing Andrew. Oh yeah, and okay. So I was going to explain what the podcast is, which is to say that we chat and we solve your problems. But but yes, I think a bigger issue is our usual right hand guy, our lovely little piglet, Andrew, is sick. He's dying. He, well, he sent a croaky message. Like, clearly, didn't think that I would believe him. So he's like, "Good morning." That's what it is. <laughs> uh, I'm so ill. So, uh, and Helen immediately texted me and was like, "He has something stuck up his butt." <laughs> I just love the idea. Like, so Andrew's six, so we can't make it, which is absolutely fine. But instead of messaging us, he sent a voice note to prove it. Being like, <laughs> as you can tell from my voice. And it's like, it, whenever someone's genuinely sick, it sounds like they're faking it. Of There's course. no way around it. Of course. It's so awful. When actually, he works really hard. But And today we have Mooch instead. Hello, Mooch. Hello. Mooch is going to take Hello. care of us. Hello. <laughs> what was that for? I, I loved it. Know. I loved it. Mooch is going to take care of us today. And he he's not really an Andrew kind of guy. Um, no. Which, by which I mean, he's like wearing shorts, even though it's the autumn. Yeah, um, it's hot outside. Are you serious? Uh, what is wrong? Are you are you Irish? Yes. Uh, that explains <laughs> it. Okay, cool. No, it is. It's a pretty warm for us. That's yeah. fair. It's a winter chill in the air, my love. I know, but I'm sweating. Yeah, I relate wow. hard to that. I'm yeah. Irish and heavy set, so these two things equal instant sweat. A oh, does that? Is that a, a thing? delicious combo? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't know the Irish were a sweaty people. Oh well, no, well the all heavy the shame. Sets are the, all the shame. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All the shame. That really makes uh, it keeps me keeps me thin. Good for you, though. Yeah, honestly, not it's bad. Not pretty, bad. Yeah. I wouldn't mind some shame, honestly. And um, but Andrew's not here, and that's fine. And um, we'll cope. We can do this. I'm fine without Andrew. I don't need that fake shit in my life. <laughs> <laughs> we desperately <laughs> need. Can you him. imagine if, like, episode three, I reveal that I'm not a fan of Andrew's? How dare you? Just like. He's a fucking liar. He's a fake fucking liar. I'm telling you now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so done with this bullshit. I'm already sweating because I'm like, oh my God, he has to do the edit and we need him so much. Andrew, so Andrew please, please keep working with us. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but we do need you. So please, if you could edit this. The thing is with Andrew, it's so hard to say you don't like him because he's so lovable. He's so I think that makes man. me want to not like him. Because you know when something is so universally loved, you're like, I want to be edgy and say I don't like it. I think that you need to ruin things that are good for you. Yeah, I guess. That is 100% yeah. what it is. I see that. So, you know, yeah. like when everyone goes to like, everyone was obsessed with Thought Park at my school because we were close to Thought Park. Oh. So like Thought Park was like the thing to do at the weekends. Mm -hmm. Like that's how you win the weekend. Is that different to Alton Towers? Okay. I'm not, I don't want to go into this. <laughs> like this is just, Alton Towers is, is a, for the, is it's big... better and it's for the North. Thought Park is in the South. It's worse, but it's closer. Okay. All right, I got you. I'm Thought Park's you amazing. It's amazing. Okay. Uh, I don't know why you're looking at me like that. When you didn't know what the troubles were, I didn't give you as judgmental a look <laughs> as you just gave me when I was like, are Alton Towers and Thorpe Park different? The troubles don't get adverts on TV. Thought Park wow. does. Wow. <laughs> I <That> wonder why. <laughs> What would the Troubles advert be? It was the news. I don't know. Like <laughs> History books. But the point is, okay, go on. So tell me, so you were not The obsessed. news isn't like a 60 second segment on Channel 4 in between Super Size versus Super Skinny when I was growing up. How would I have caught it? Okay, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Could you possibly? Unless they did the Troubles on News Round. 
In which case. Oh my God. So you were. Could you imagine? Do you remember News Round as a TV show? Did you get this in Ireland? No, probably not. It was on CBBC. So it was on like BBC One and it would be the end of CBBC before it goes into like two episodes of The Simpsons or whatever. Right. And they would do news for kids, News <sighs> Round. So they, but they would still do the news, but they'd water it down. Do you still watch that? I, it's I think, not a bad way to stay I was in about the to loop. Say, I feel like you should. It's good for me. I don't think you do watch it. Did you it? know that we're out of Afghanistan? <laughs> Did you know? I Yeah, I'd, I'd heard. I've been walking around I'd for heard. years being like, I won't do this until we're out of the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like, we're out. And I'm like, when? Oh, God, Helen, did you just... Okay, you, do you think the big Middle... You know what? Let, let's not get into... I know where the Middle East okay, is. Yeah. It's the other side of Turkey. Okay. Um, uh, right? Uh, yeah, uh, listen, I, I don't even want to... I don't even want to start the conversation because I'm scared of where it'll go. Can we circle back to Thorpe Park? Let's talk about Thorpe Park. Yeah. Because it's autumn. Yeah. Thorpe Park famously is opening up its Fright Nights. It opens... Oh, it opens what? Fright Nights. What's that? It is when you can go and you go into a maze and things jump out at you. This is for children? For, I'd say young adults. Okay. It's mainly for like teen mums. Like that's <laughs> yeah. the main, that's the like thought park market. Oh, is it now? And you go in, have you not seen these in like an American TV and stuff like that? Like they're really big there where you have to go through and you're like holding onto each other's shoulders. And you go through a maze where everyone jumps out at you and they have like different crazy themes like the insane asylum. Oh, you mean like where... Stranger Things. Okay, so it's where um, like improv actors go to work. Yeah, I get it. Okay, I get it I now. Get it. I get it now. Okay, cool. And then you're just sort of like walking through with your friends and then out jumps like a man with a chainsaw and then you go, ah! But then you've all got to stay in a chain and go through to the next room. And you do this for fun? I don't do it for fun. Because you're not into Thor Park. Also because my reflexes are too quick. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And the one rule... <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, just to be clear, you're too much of a ninja for Fright Nights. I will end a life <laughs> in a fun maze out of pure panic. Like, oh, I you're worried that you'll like karate chop someone's neck. Or I will just cry and fall to pieces and never yeah. fully recover. Okay. Because I'm such a scaredy cat. Wait, which one is it? Are you too much of a scaredy cat or are your reflexes too good? It's a combi of both. Okay, wow. I'm All a right. deadly combi. So you weren't into it in school. I never went for Fright Nights. Okay, cool. I can do any roller coaster, but... Even now, if we were like leaving here and Mooch hid behind that door and I knew he was there ready to jump out at me, I couldn't leave. Okay, Mooch, I think we need to do organize. I can't that. handle a shock. <laughs> okay, clearly. But also if you did get shocked, you would deal with it with nothing but violence. I think I would scream, cry, and then just like straight in the neck. Yeah. Okay, cool. Like straight in Good it. For or like you. fucking in the balls. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then hold on and pull down. I think you would just scream. I think there'd be just I think panic. I'd kill. Oh, okay. Well, I think I'd kill. Now I want to see it. Let's test that theory in a bit. Um, There's a really funny video of Taylor Swift doing a scare maze oh. online. I mean, you had me at Taylor Swift. And she's just like bargaining. Like, you know, that like mental health thing of like, when oh, really? you bargain, then it's like you're going in a bad place. She's oh. like, if you let me get through this, I'll be okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> She just has to walk through this. I think it's like backstage of the Ellen show. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, Taylor. For God. Remember when Ellen was a good lesbian and we could have enjoyed that story? I do. Oh, that would have been nice. Anyway, so we have Mooch here. We are talking autumn because mm -hmm. the leaves are a turning. They're a fallen. They're a fallen. It's autumn. Do you like autumn? The cups have changed. Not this one, but in general, cups have changed. What do you mean? Like... The Starbucks Costa Cup. Oh, do they get like autumn cups? You get vibes. I you get love vibes. That for also, them. all the Halloween stuff is out. It is. Do you like, like TK Maxx is just pumpkin spice candles now. Oh, delicious. Are you Good. an autumn fan? I'm a fan of every season. Are you? I love a change of season. Even spring, which is so meh. My birthday. Oh, that's why I don't like it. So I'm fully into it. <laughs> also, okay. I like the idea of like baby sheep. I'm not around them being in London, but the idea of there's loads of baby sheep around is great. Okay. Apart from this year when Clarkson's Farming came out and a sheep died and it was awful. Wow, that's harrowing stuff. So my dream is, is that next spring I go to the big sheep in Devon. What's the big sheep? It's a place where they got loads of sheep. It's not one big sheep. It's I do want to do a pig experience, so I understand. Don't you think? Where's a pig experience? You can do pig experiences anywhere. You go and you um, hold piglets and you feed them and you stroke them and you can brush them. Shut your mouth. Are you yeah. serious? I'm a hundred percent serious. Do they do it like in London? You can rent pigs in London, which I feels unethical. So I think I'll go to the farm instead. It sounds but very Tiger King, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, but with all right. 
<laughs> Mooch with the judgment straight I in. I actually agree. I think that's disgusting. No, I'm, all, I'm all for it. I'd be the hog queen. <laughs> Oh, we should do a photo shoot for this with pigs. <gasps> Imagine this just us holding pigs. Like like How about you with those the piglets and me just with the mum? Yeah, like men hold she- <laughs> men hold fish in dating yeah, apps. Yeah, yeah. It could just be us being like, eh? Oh, I'd love and that. Pigs get that great thing. You know that look? You know when like a dog's had loads of babies and the titties are like hanging. Hanging. Do you reckon pigs get that as well? Like the drip nips? Yeah. Probably. I think I so. love the several drip nip look. You, like, I think as a fashion style, I it. love it. Yeah, It is like um, a complicated belt, I suppose. It's cute. It's cute. They should make those. I'm for down for it. For women. We would buy them. I love uh, autumn. <laughs> me too. I love Speaking autumn. of, like, this has just made me think, which is, oh, why do I have a segue from, from drip nips? But I am currently wearing, and I feel like everyone knows it, even though no one could know it. I feel, I'm wearing a nipple ring in my ear um, because I know it doesn't make any sense because yesterday. That one? Um, This one. Can you tell? I feel like I feel like I mean, I'm walking now, down the yeah. street and everyone's like, Ugh! "Wait, because do you have your nipple pierced?" I had my nipple pierced. Shut up! How I'm, do I I'm, not know? I'm that? a woman of layers. You don't know me. Which one? It was my least painful piercing as well. My right, <sighs> by far my least painful piercing because I don't have sensitive nipples. Fun fact about me. I guess you're learning a can lot, I mate. Feel it? Fun, so you can see it in the camera. <laughs> no, I'm not going to show you my. No, no, no. The, 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 the oh, ring. the piercing. Yeah, I was sorry, like, I was. <laughs> I'm not showing you my nipple in the camera. Go to our YouTube to see uh, Catherine's nipple piercing tip full out. (laughs) Just a little guy. But basically, yesterday, so, okay, pre-lockdown, I spent a little bit of money getting some piercings. I can't stop thinking about your nipple ring now. I know, it's crazy. And then yesterday, for the first time in ages, I took them all out and cleaned them with lavender oil. And I I, I don't usually take them out, but anyway. Lavender oil? Yeah, because it's antiseptic and it smells nice. And anyway, you get sebum buildup when you pierce your ears. It can be gross. Anyway, the point is, that was too much information. The point is, I took them out to clean them. I cleaned my ears and I went to put them back in and I dropped one. And... It was an expensive earring, so then I cried because it's my own fault because I did clean them. Who who puts tries to put earrings back in over the sink? You're obviously gonna fucking Literally lose on one. Literally, that episode of Keeping Up with I'm so where she stupid. Loses a diamond earring. Yeah, I cries. did a I did a Kim. I was like, Ugh! and then um, I had to keep the hole open till I go back and replace it. So the only thing I had that was small enough to go in that hole was a nipple ring. And so now it's in my ear. I cleaned it, obviously. And um, it feels like... Do you, did I ever tell you why I got my nipple pierced? Stop trying to bond with me about this. Will you I have your nipples pierced? So, no. And you, I bet you have really sensitive nipples. No, I just... I am funny about the idea of me getting pierced on any sensitive area. So, so but, for me, nipples and clit, definitely not. I would not get my clit done, but... Because my first awareness of, like... Those sort of area piercings is from the sweetest thing where Selma Blair gives a blowjob to a guy who has a cock ring uh. and it gets stuck over her tonsil <gasps> and she is trapped with a cock in her mouth. And oh. that fucked me up. That wasn't your dream? <laughs> no. That wasn't your goal? Okay. I <laughs> want to do... <laughs> Some people saw that scene as aspiration. As little as possible. Uh, yeah, okay. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, that sounds like a nightmare to me too. Um, But yeah, basically an ex-girlfriend had an ex-girlfriend. So when I first started flirting with an ex-girlfriend, uh-huh. she... This is so... Oh my God, this is such a horrible insight to my mind. She mentioned... So we, we were flirting, but she had a girlfriend. Um, okay. And she mentioned... Uh, that her girlfriend had a clip piercing and not to be outdone oh this is so pathetic I love that I would do the same thing I would 100% do the same thing I was like yeah please we all have piercings yeah 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 like what do you mean and I was like well I have my nipple pierced I did reader reader listener I did not have my nipple pierced yeah yeah but then she broke up with the girlfriend and it became apparent we were gonna fuck then I had to get my nipple pierced because otherwise (laughs) otherwise you're a freak I'm a (laughs) The things that you say as a lie that you follow through why? with. Even though it's so easy to why? be like, oh, I, I don't know why I said that. I was being so stupid. <laughs> it was so easy to just not say it, Helen. How about that? I could just not say don't, it. Don't, don't, don't. I could just not say it. The amount of guys I said, you know what? I just love giving blowjobs to. Uh. To the age of like 20 is obscene. <laughs> I don't. I'm bad at it. I fucking hate it. It's not fun for you. But why I would don't be- know why I say it. Almost like oh, they're going to be like, she's the one for me. Mm-hmm. I found her, um, <laughs> my intellectual match. Anyway, I had to get my nipple pierced and actually one of my least painful piercings. Um, but yeah. Which was the most painful? Uh, I would say, weirdly, the 
top of my ear. You know what? I had that done in Claire's accessories on Oxford Street for yeah, my friend Libby Demon's eighteenth birthday. Because you told her that you already had it as done. a present for her. Oh. I was <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> Her getting to watch me get my ear pierced. What? But Did then, she hate then you? we went to Planet Hollywood, so it was all worth it. Okay. No, I feel like all three of us got a piercing done at Claire's accessories. Oh, that I thought day. she was some sort of masochist who was like, for my birthday, I want all of my friends to pierce <laughs> holes in themselves. I'll like, watch. Libby's 18th. <laughs> me, Hannah, and Libby all went up to London because that was what you do if you're from sure. the suburbs. Sure. And we went to Planet Hollywood mm-hmm. and we went Oxford Street mm-hmm. and we got piercings. And I remember that being painful because I couldn't sleep on the side yeah, yeah. for like, Three years, and then eventually I just took it out. Three years? It just really hurt, but I also never cleaned it. <laughs> what you're saying is you had an infection. I had an infected ear <laughs> for three years, because and it was my calling card at college. Everyone would be like, "Do you know Helen? What Helen with the infected ear?" <laughs> yeah, we do. She loves giving blowjobs. Have you not heard? Oh my God. <laughs> I will say I am. Um, I'm gonna go get more piercings, um, and I usually do like a bunch in one ear and then a bunch in the other, so I can't have a side to sleep on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that wasn't. Yeah, so there you so go. So I've only ever gone one and then one up there. That's it. I have my. I mean, do people care? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I have my tragus, and then I have two at the top of my left uh, left ear, two in the bottom, and then I have the top on my right. I don't know what that's called. And then I have three. I have a little stack one on top of the other that's cute right. though thank you well it would be cute if i didn't have a fucking nipple piercing in, in there and i know it's all i can think of now. Fi- i know it's really hard not to like to think of boobs when you look at my ear which i guess is and discuss this uh i know you haven't had it done but the clip piercing i haven't had it done. i've never seen one though do people get i think they get their hood pierced rather than their clip pierced if for sure you have you to. couldn't possibly get can you imagine i would lose it yeah, I mean, that's not right. But also, I I don't think I'd... Like, what if it came loose and someone choked? Or what if, like... Oh, you don't want an infection there. That's the thing. I sound like such an old lady. I'm like... Because, like, haven't... I'd get it so messy. Because it's a mess down there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it does, like... We're talking the, about the fluids, the yeah, different get, bits yeah, and Yeah, when you get your period. I mean, I know that's not... Like, to be clear... No, no, but, like... Don't write like, in. I know that's not where your period comes always, from. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like it's down there, and yeah. then you're like wiping. And also, they like, always say like wipe move. forward, don't they? That's so the... I wipe forward because I don't want to wipe. Yeah, you always said wipe round. forward. No, no, no. So when you're having a wee, you go from like taint up. Yes. <laughs> right. And taint backwards, which for by the way is a privilege for us to say because all taints are different. I thought you didn't have one. And I was joking. Okay, what, you didn't seem okay, like you were joking. I was joking. You didn't, you didn't sound... Was just you, a mega sorry, it's really quickly. No, you didn't sound like you were I, joking. No, no, wait. I have what I'd say is on the smaller side of taint. Okay. But you're not going to get confused. Like a mini taint. Guys have got confused. Uh, <laughs> but it's not like... I've heard... Ooh, it was an accident. I've heard that there are taints that are like... We're talking millimeters. Is that how men get in your bum hole? They're like, oh my God, Where I'm so sorry. Your taint's so skinny. I didn't even notice. You know, I've never done anal. Do you know why? Because no one's ever asked. No one's which ever asked. devastating <laughs> for me. Like, I feel like I grew up my whole life being like, yeah, guys fucking love anal. You can say yes if you want, but like, it doesn't feel that great. I have never been asked. Wow. What do you think that says about but you? That's just my entire life to this point you? is everyone being like, oh, as soon as you start doing um, work in the entertainment industry with like comedy, like everyone's going to want you to take your tits out. I have got my tits out twice and both times I had to beg. <laughs> yeah, I will say I've seen you get I your did t- it for free for Comedy Central. They were like, you, even on the day, they were like, you don't have to do it. And I was like, no, I want to. And they went, <laughs> but you do, we don't have to. And I was like, let me do it. <laughs> Helen, on our online show, you've gotten your tits out more times than you haven't. Yeah. And everyone's asked you not to. This is what I'm saying. I don't understand consent. Yeah, we have been over. That is true. I'm glad you're writing that material and working through that. Thank Here's you. Here's my question, though. Um, yes. oh, what do you think it says about you that no man has ever asked for it? I don't. I think I give out the impression of someone who doesn't clean out their asshole. Oh, you think? Oh, I thought it was that. Like, maybe it's that like you're like such a lady. No. You think it's about your fiber? I thing. think it's that they see me and they're like, I'm not going up. It's a that. messy gal. Not even with a hood on. I'm oh my not God. even risking it. Okay, well, I'm really. We got from autumn to anal so fast, and I'm really proud of us. Um, but once again, it's not anal because I've never done it. No, uh, listen, that's fine. What else are you doing? For but I'm him? not saying I want to be asked either. Do you know what I mean, Moose? There's no shame. Like, There's no sh- anal's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like it's it's kind of like marriage, really. You not you don't know if you want to be asked. Yeah, right. That's beautiful, man. But I would like. Wow, so philosophical. <laughs> Cogito ergo anal. Get yeah. down on one knee and. And ask me. Yeah, well, uh, ask me. 
<laughs> oh, Mooch brought his own jokes. Andrew's going to hate that. I love uh, that. Yeah, so that's lovely. Um, but even then, like, it's pumpkin spice season. It's, it's not pumpkin, the time to be talking about taint not, sizes. It's not. It's not. It's Whatever taint Halloween. size you have, thank you so much for joining us here today. Yeah, we're so pleased to have you. Can I ask you a question? How's your week been? You know what? It's been pretty low key. Okay. Mm. Mine's been off the chain. By which Hit I mean, me. I did one thing and I can't wait to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> off the chain when did I where did I get that from off the chain it's like a phrase I heard in the 90s but I really wanted to use today why have I said that no off do it do chain. it it's been off the hook it's been <laughs> tell me how wild it's been it's for been you it's been rad man oh my god have your Starbucks one pump sugar free oat milk <laughs> iced americano you were so mad about my order weren't you only because I was already at the till number one I don't particularly love getting drinks from Starbucks because yeah. my family have been boycotting it since day one oh because of tax they're super liberal taxes i get okay, it smart I get it. Fair. but it was the only option yeah. until you found a prep which is also owned by mcdonald's so it's all pointless yeah and i didn't need that order okay, to that. be a drama i had to deal with this I'm morning i'm sorry but it's fine it's added some excitement to my week tell me the one thing that's happened to you in seven days i've started to learn to drive that's a biggie it is a biggie i'm terrified i'm 33 i left it too long uh I don't have any spatial awareness. I don't. I'm not composed under pressure. Yeah. I don't want to drive, and um, I think that there's a reason that people shouldn't be behind the wheels of death machines. So why are you learning that? I didn't go in cam. I'm going in because uh, I'm going to learn to drive because my brother now can and he's younger than me. Uh, because wow, that's um, pathetic. Yeah, it's pathetic. Yeah. It feels pathetic because I think if I leave it any longer, I'll just never do it. Okay, yeah, I'm I get getting that. to that point of age. Um, also because I'm going on tour and um, if the last tour taught me anything it's that um, men are as scary as you've heard and um, I just think it'd be safer if I could jump in my car and drive away rather than have to run to train stations I agree with that yeah yeah um, fun being a woman in comedy is a laugh I think it is uh, just another level of things to think about yeah like, as that far people as follow the journey the home station. yeah yeah. so it would be cool that'd be cool and um, and also like can I tell you truthfully mm-hmm I'm pretty smart and I've been in cars with people. So if I'm honest, Helen, I kind of thought what would become apparent in the first lesson is that I just can drive. I just figured that like, I've like, seen it done enough. Been in cars? I've seen it done a lot. So I was like, this is going to be really awkward because she's going to be like, okay, here we go. Your first lesson. And I'm gonna be like, yeah. I That's had, fucking stupid, babe. I have had one one hour lesson. So I did know. So oh, that was years ago. But I thought, it's going to be pretty awkward because I'm not even going to need her because it turns out I can't. I've seen people drive so much. It turns out it's harder than it looks. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it, a lot of coordination. Yes, which I also don't. I once got a school report that said Catherine is great at all sports except any that involve hand-eye coordination. Which is so what awesome. sport are you good at? Mind games? I can run. <laughs> <laughs> Running and mind games. Um, exactly that. And, which counts in a lot for a lot in a Oh, mind games are the most yeah, important yeah, yeah, game. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yes, so but do you I, think you're pretty? Seriously. Do you think you're pretty? Because that'd be good if you did. No, I think confidence is really important yeah, for a young so woman. Important. So you think you're pretty? But you're saying, are you, you think saying you're prettier you're than pretty? me? Are you saying it? Wow. It's arrogant. Mm. But I respect it. Yeah. You're my best friend. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's the ultimate mind game. That, that is the one. terrifying. <laughs> but Ow. no hand-eye coordination. Yeah, no, none. So um, that was amazing. God, Thank I you. I actually felt like I was taking back to school. Whoo, boy, I am going to skip lunch. Now... <laughs> Right, do you ever uh, eat Do you have a problem with food? I went to an old girls' school, if that's what you're asking. Now, here's the thing. Uh, so, yeah, that lasted forever. Um, but the, yeah, so I started to learn to drive. And I can't, the real reason, apart from the fact that I thought I'd already would, so I was like, this is going to be a bruise, is I was like, I, I need new material. Um, and as you know, being new material adjacent is almost as good as having new material. So I figured if I learn to drive, I'm going to a um, pelvic physio soon. Yes, yeah, um, yeah. So I thought there's new material on the horizon. The shit, Those the two shiz. things will give me five minutes yeah. each, right? So, um, so yeah. So like in the same way that you know when you go to like um, shit parties because you think there might be five in it. Or like no. you hang, or like you hang out with a person but you don't I'm, like. You I'm think still there could be five famously like mining my childhood. Oh. I'm like I've only done one hour, so I've still got so yes, much. Yes, I to have explore. blown a lot more. And also now that I've started talking about my childhood, my parents are a bit like, "Could you talk about something else?" Yeah, so, I got a cop plan. So I'm learning so to I'm drive. Good, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, but the the driving instructor, she was so lovely. But I felt like she was like, I felt like she knew, she was like 
almost testing me. Like, because at one point she was like, what do you do? And I was like, oh, I'm a comic. And she was like, okay, cool. Anyway, next thing she said was, don't be thinking about everything you're doing. Remember, like, you're, you'll, it'll become second nature. And she just kept saying, like, the steering. That's your hand job, not yours. <laughs> that's your hand job. She doesn't say hands. She says, that's your hand job. She desperately wants to be in a sack. And I was she like, she wants to be in a sack. She sir. is, like, it's, it's too obvious. Like, I can't say that on stage. People are like, no, she didn't. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. she did. And she said, that's your hand job, without irony, about 18 times during the. She is gagging for a shout Yeah, she's, or she's like gaslighting me and she's like, oh, fucking try it. Um, <laughs> and then, just as we were leaving, um, I was like, it was perfect because I was going to dr- drive with her again anyway because yeah. I, I liked her and she we didn't crash so that feels like good job you. Um, also a man beeped me in a van um, because I was going too slow which is insane because it's my first time in a car driving and uh, when he when he did she just turned to me and she went and this is why I was like I will drive with you for as long as it takes. Yeah. She turned to me and she said just so you know I paid road tax so we're allowed to be here. And I was like, oh, I love this woman so much. Confident. Yeah, I she, love it. He beeped and she was like, that's crazy because I've paid road tax. And I was like, oh, God, this woman will get me through life. And where do you um, drive around? Because you're landing in London, obviously. Yeah, it, it's a residential area. So people, cars are parked on both sides. It's terrifying. I can't believe I'm allowed to do it. Mm. But we're allowed because she paid road tax. So you can't fight and her. And how long's the lesson? At, I went for two hours because uh, I'm chatty. And I just thought, no, no, I get it. I'm I not going to learn anything in an hour. I'll be busy telling her my backstory, which obviously I was. But then, just as I was getting out of the car, she told me like the most traumatic things about her life. And it was such a brilliant... I was like, what an amazing sales pitch. Because even if I hadn't had a good time, I now feel... One, obliged. Obliged. And two, kind of on a cliffhanger. I was like, I need to know the rest of the story. So I'm very excited to go back to drive with her. And I great. love this for you. Yeah, thank you so much. And how long does it take? Do you reckon you'll like pass by the end of the year? Or... Um, I asked her how long it took and she said um, it's different it, for everyone. It's different for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but also, as you already know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I, two lessons. I did mention but what about the fact that I can already drive? Did you tell her about the amount of time you've been in cars? <laughs> <laughs> did you tell her that you've been in like taxis, cars, vans, I did. trucks? I told her I watched Formula One. She was not impressed. She was like Okay. And I was like, and you drive them drive them work. Oh, somebody's coming up the stairs. Do we need to pause? No. Okay, but we can keep it all in one take. I forgot to put the sign up. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. That's fine. Do we want to put the sign up now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even though I do think that's probably a good out for that. Oh, he's putting it up. Oh, thank you. Andrew wants one take, and I think we should keep, we need some extra material, etc. So, um. Oh, how long was that? That we are now on about 30 minutes. 30 well, minutes, uh, yes. But, but there was about five minutes of... Chat at the start. Yeah, so we yeah. still need to do 25. Let's go up till half past so Andrew has extra material. Perfect. But, and then, okay. but is that for... So should we say that's that and then we'll do the extra material now? Um, well, let's wrap up the episode. The let's wrap least. up the episode. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, but also, have we, we? I feel like, what have we talked about? We've given you autumn vibes. We've given you nipple rings. We've given you learning to anal drive. Anal taint. Um, anal taint. And we have... Oh, we have, oh my gosh, we should intro the section with Olga. That's what we should do. That's wise. Yeah, so we'll do a little little (laughs) intro. Um, Helen, as you know. I want to show you the spot I did this morning. Do you remember like a couple of weeks ago I showed you a spot? Yeah, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, did you think that I hadn't noticed the spot until you showed me? Like, this was. Are you serious? I I put concealer on it. um, Can you tell? Uh, oh, you, can. you can see it in the camera. <laughs> <It's huge. laughs> but I thought it was going to be like a proper. I did a little bit. So me and Snail are watching Downton Abbey. Snail's my housemate. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm sorry. Is this connected to the spot? It is. We're watching Downton Abbey, and it was a Scarlet Fever episode. Not Scarlet Fever. Spanish flu. Bit of fun. Also, do you know Spanish flu started in America? Wow, <laughs> mind blowing. I mean, yes. But do they have um? Do they have a Scarlet Fever and a Spanish flu? Sorry, episode? It's just a Spanish flu episode. Okay. I get confused because they start with S's. Yeah, okay, sure. And I was like (laughs) playing with it the entire time for the whole like hour. Right. And then I saved it for this morning, whereas usually I get really trigger happy with sort of like um, spots. But I saved it this morning. Disappointing. Don't save it, kids. Okay. Don't save your spots. I don't know that anybody else saves them for for like a... Go for it in the moment. I save them as treats. Are your hands Always clean when you do this? Always just go for it. No, I, I, as dirty as possible. Okay, yeah. Because otherwise you only get one shot at it. You should... For me, personally, I like a couple of goes. Can I, I like say, a couple of goes. I'd say pop some lavender oil and some water on it, a little um, cotton pad and give that a dab and it'll heal up pretty fast. No. 
you you got to stop thinking that people want to heal. Oh, right. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I don't want to heal. I want it to be a long, fun, popping process so that next time I'm bored at home and my housemate's out, I've got something to play with. That's genuinely disgusting. Um, you, okay. There's only so many times you can wank in a row. Uh, okay. Uh, but also, have you thought about, like, working? Yeah. Well, I, my Furby I can't play with for that much because she gets tired of it. Kimberly's sick of you, yeah. Kimberly's sleepy. Mm. My Tamagotchi's. Are, are dead. dead and yep. if i <laughs> revive them then that's another responsibility that i can't take i don't think you're right now right now no and i'm trying not to binge okay have you thought about um like a hobby or exercise yeah so puzzles is on break because sunil's using puzzling table for lego oh my god he took over your puzzling table it's fine i'm fine with it i don't even want to go into are it. are you i'm genuinely not going into it okay wow because i'm rising above it wow i think it's mad that he's 40 and he's decided to like take up Lego when he yeah. knows it's my puzzle table. Did he ask permission? And I bought it because it was big enough for a thousand piece, but like... Did he ask permission? I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Whoa. That it's is... fine. Okay. Maybe... I just think it's a toxic household now. Yeah. Should we have him on the podcast to talk us through? He's doing the Seinfeld set. Oh, wow. Okay. That's... I went to bed last night, came on this morning, half it was done. And I was like, what the fuck? Where's he going to put it afterwards? Plan? Do you think he's going to try to put it I don't want to talk about it. Don't okay, want to talk well, about well. it. <laughs> um, cool. Actually, I want to This seems like guys. a really good time to this intro is... our guest. He just... Um, got a picture that he's ordered for the flat but he sent a message of a picture of it being like it's going in my room though it's a tiger with a sword going through its head why oh god that's as bad as described this is a new piece of art coming to our flat uh, why anyone on youtube you can see it now. move it back a little bit camera. this Obviously, one yeah why? Oh. oh my God! The lights just went. We in. just had a power cut. I really we just had a blackout. Audio recording. Oh hi, it's Catherine. Somehow I have managed to be nominated for the best bake. Mm, can't even say it. So unused to the success. Best Breakthrough Act at the National Comedy Awards 2021. And if you like me, would you please go to the National Comedy Awards 2021 link? Um, well, that's all you have to Google. And vote for me in the Best Breakthrough Act category with, I don't know, like all your email addresses. No pressure, but my mom would really love that. Um, as would I. But sorry if it's weird to ask. Okay, have a nice day. Okay, so please go to patreon.com forward slash trusty hogs. That's where you can find us. Patreon.com forward slash trusty hogs. Even Helen can remember it. You can do it too. And for three pounds, you get early access to every episode. So 24 hours in advance, you get the episode. You're ahead of the curve. Why not? Five pounds, you get that plus an extra episode. We're giving you another podcast for free for five pounds. Okay, yeah. Three pounds isn't the dream. Five pounds is the dream. Yeah, like why wouldn't that be your dream? And then 10 pounds, you get all of that plus early release um, access to the tickets for any live shows we do. I know. And 10 percent off tickets and merch yes please and we're making merch don't think that we're not 15 pounds gets you a signed poster and oh. all of those things all of those things and you can put something on your wall i don't mind if we do all of those for 20 pounds plus a producer credit i'm sorry you're now a producer of a podcast we're saying your name on Even every episode i'm not a producer of this podcast you never will be like it's crazy plus a mug that says you're a producer so when people come around you're like oh this is just from the podcast i produce so cute i know 50 pounds who is 50 pounds a month i don't know but if you do like give it to us please I, that would be amazing but if you did we would give you all of the above so 24 hour early access extra episodes early release tickets 10 percent off those tickets for live events 10 percent off merch we'd give you a signed poster we'd give you an exec producer um, title and an exec and we would make you a personalized video i feel like we're giving them our soul for 50 pounds worth it Every penny, baby. Patreon.com forward slash. Trusty Trust hogs. hogs. I remembered. Thank you. Helen, we have a guest today. I'm so excited about this guest. Me too. I she's love very funny. everything about her. Yeah, she's a real funny gal. I actually think I have quite a lot of like, I, I think I'm, I'm a bit uncool around her because I'm always like, be my friend. No. I bring that energy to it. I do. But you guys are already friends. Oh, but we seem to like, we've never hung out alone. <gasps> I guess that's because of our like mad sexual Actually, chemistry. I know what you mean. She is so fucking cool. So we have done Latitude together twice. Yeah. And the first time we camped together, second time we weren't staying together, but we like hung out the whole weekend together. Yeah. 
we went backstage onto the main stage because we thought we had behind the scenes access. <laughs> and the whole time we were going up to the stage, I can't remember who was playing. I think it was like Bombay Bicycle Club. We were no, on the stage. No. And she was just like, yeah, you just walk through and show your band. I was like, this can't be right. This can't be right. I was fucking petrified so every cool. second. She was like, no, no, this is fun. I was like, I will die. Oh my I God. I will she's actually so die. Cool. She's so cool. Also like, she's just... I feel like she's everything I try to be, but with zero effort. Like I've oh, like, you can tell yeah. it took me two hours and she just try, tries not at all. And she's it's a like effortlessly cool. Yeah. yeah, she's great. Anyway, we're very pleased to have her on the podcast. She's a very, very funny comedian. It's Olga Koch. Olga Koch. Yeah. Yes. Hello, welcome to the podcast, Olga Koch. <gasps> Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. Yay, we're so excited. Um, In an unexpected turn of events. I'm going to take control of this. Oh, wow. You're both losing your fucking shit. <laughs> This is an absolute mess. In a big mess. way. In a big You're way. You're a mess. I don't even know what's happening with you as like this truffle hunting dick pig. And I am genuinely so calm <gasps> right now. You do uh, have coffee on your cardigan. Um, okay. Well, <laughs> you know what? Oh, that is, hell yeah. No, that's not Hell bad. yeah. I love that Helen was telling us that she's <laughs> Community a Community guidelines. So, community guidelines. I was so in control for a second there. But this, I'll do it like this. I... Um, the then, He's doing a zoom in on your boobs just now. Absolutely fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get both of them? It's pretty shocking. Helen is probably in the best place mentally for the, yeah. of the three of us. Like, I've I think never, ever, poor, ever. What? It's a poor reflection on us. This. That's she, Helen is currently just holding her bosom and shaking them at the poor, poor tech. And we're um, still, and we're still the crazy ones. Yeah, we're still the mad ones. It's absolutely but true. I, I genuinely feel like I could help both of you right now. Oh, like dear. Like, you're mad. I don't want to be helped. I want to dive into the deep end. Oh, okay. Really? okay yeah, because I make memories this way. Good for two you. Year, every two years, I have a meltdown, and every two years, I do some mad shit. Like, last time I did this, I fucked a guy in a Zipcar van. I want to get there. Wow. <laughs> I want to be in that place. I want to hear everything about that. The Zipcar was stationary. <laughs> Okay, and was he delivering things? Or? No, we were just making out against it, and then we we're like, "Wouldn't it be funny?" And then he just whipped out the zip car app, and off we he went. He hired it right there, right there. Then. I it was hot as hell. That it was, I was hot going as hell. out with a guy who drove a pickup van, and it, you feel good in it. You yeah, because you feel it's like the bang bus. In a van. Yeah, like, okay, I get it's that. Not like yeah, squeezing around into yeah. a car. You've got room to roll. But do you also feel like set out for delivery? I mean, there's a, like a human, human trafficking element to sure, it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, cool, 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 cool. But I think that's where the excitement comes into it. Like, okay, we yeah, all like I see that. we all did drama at school. Do you know what I mean? It's like a little bit of role play. I didn't, but um... oh yeah, but debating. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, also, okay, you're naturally fair. dramatic, so it's like it's that part of the true, vibe. Very dramatic. <laughs> oh, um, tell us what your stress is. How's yeah. your wait? What is your what? What is your stress? Oh, I am. Um, is everyone else not having like an immediate crisis of everything post lockdown? Yeah, like I've gone back fair. and I'm like, what am I doing? Why am I doing it? Um, who am yeah. I? Uh, why am I terrible at everything? Does everyone hate me? Uh, have I ever been sexually attractive? You know, the usual sort of like Monday morning vibe. Do you want um, me and so Sunil do at home? We watch Russian dash cam videos. You guys are fucking mental with your cars. I love Just one. watch oh. car crashes. <laughs> it's really calming. Or that video from a few years ago where it was like uh, off-brand Disney characters fighting in the street. Do you remember that? It was so good. It was he so also good. just types in British pub fights compilation. <laughs> <laughs> we you just won't do anything except try yoga with Adrian. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But you've come in with a wonderfully manic energy to which I relate hard. Oh my God, and so that much. is because you are in a... Uh, Oh, are we talking about it? Are it's we... called a sexual safari. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, so the thing is, <laughs> a break. I have I have created the term, and I talk about it at I length. And I I strongly believe in the sort of culture and power of a sexual mm -hmm. safari. That being said, yes, is this bestiality? <laughs> no, I don't mind if it is. I just rather know. Mind, okay, can mind, you stop calling please? furries be? <laughs> <laughs> if you're fur the furry isn't an actual animal. Yes, the furries are not bestiality. And also, um, I would mind if it was actual bestiality. But to circle back for the listener. Hands um, the signs, yeah. I got broken up with on my birthday. What? Yes. I got broken up with on my birthday. Again, I hope he never listens to this. He Love you, babe. He definitely won't listen to this. You're going to be like 25 minutes into the episode and we are a tough listen. There's oh, no cool, cool, way. cool, 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 cool. No way. Great. Broke up with me on my birthday. Then there was like weirdness because I was like do we get back together do we not I'm not going to get into it but okay. now we're like technically on a break where we are allowed to have sex with other people are you okay I you know what I talked to you about before <laughs> the start of this recording if you call that okay then I am a-okay okay you fell <laughs> off your chair so it wasn't great but <laughs> now you were going to tell us about your theory on comics because I I would say I don't think I should ever sleep with a comedian again and you have a theory that it's, you, you do sleep with comics and I, I okay so I I sleep with comics and 
I mean, I don't just sleep with comics. Don't look at me. I think you're both dumb sluts. I also also date comics. Yeah, I've done pretty much exclusively. I've done both, and I will never do it again. Fair, but okay. So the thing is, I I feel everything feels, and I think maybe it's because I'm in a manic place. Everything feels like an exact trade off. Like everything is a zero sum game. So like the the most amazing, like the better something starts, the worse it ends, etc. etc. And so this like I do think that like even though the fallout of breaking up with a comic is like oh fuck we're gonna be on the same bill we have the same friends are we gonna talk about each other on stage all of that is horrific but the build up is so beautiful because no one in the world understands you the same way and like the post okay, that I got and the post coital bits that you do are <laughs> divine that is very there is true. nothing better than post sex making jokes at each other and riffing <laughs> nothing nothing at all and you, you know, can't do it with someone who isn't a comic oh, I'm an improv person I will oh, fully please. We, okay I, I'm depressed but not that depressed yes. <laughs> But also, can we just circle back? Because I do have to disagree. I think you can do the bits with non-comics. As but then as you're soloing very much, and they're just laughing at what you're saying. Hard disagree. I think you just want somebody who's dark enough that they can get on board. Yeah, but no, I need I need structure. I need people who know structure. Judge Sorry. structure, rule of three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe... maybe. You I want to pull no. back and reveal yeah, during I'm, sex? <laughs> I am so against sleeping with comics and having relationships with comics, but I totally get what you mean as far as, like, we're on the same wavelength, we're all building up our sets, but it's, like, 24 hours between the next time we go on stage and they yeah. get it, so it's yeah. sort of, like, a I, thing. I do think there's a shorter conversation to be had with a comic about whether or not the things you've just had a laugh about can be used on stage. Um, as in, like, I think they inherently know that if they've laughed, they've given you permission. Yeah. Whereas I don't think another person, I think a person who's a non-comic is like, sorry, I, that was quite a personal and private conversation. Interesting. Like, That's crazy you laughed. I thought that meant that you knew that I would say that on stage. That's mad to me. Um, but basically, so what in your life has made you both feel so small that you have to be a chuckle fucker? <laughs> Let's just get into this it. Is how, to, to, uh, how it feels to be on a date with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what made you give up on yourself and go for me? <laughs> that actually, I exclusively fall for people who aren't in comedy, but definitely don't fancy me back so I can fulfill a tragic narrative of being rejected. That's like my yeah, whole vibe. Yeah, I I love love that. I yeah. I love that. Yeah, you've seen me do it, right? I it's like, love I make it as painful as possible. Yeah. They're like, you're gross. And I'm like, I know. Oh, what I like to do is, um, <laughs> I like to be given all of the indications from the very beginning that that will ne- that will never, ever work out. And I think ultimately be told from the get-go that we're fundamentally um, I guess non-compatible and then incompatible and then I would like to sort of stretch out that trauma for as long as possible and then at the end always know at the very least that I was right yeah yeah this, this yeah. idea oh my goodness the, okay so this self-destructive um, instinct I totally uh, relate to it because I have had in my life always a string of really toxic friendships like I will always have a friend who all my friends will take me aside and be like that person treats you like shit what are you doing yeah. and then to them I'll say they're the only one telling me the truth yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they will treat me like absolute garbage they'll be like you don't deserve anything and I'll be like you're right everyone else is lying yeah I've owned, I agree I've had a very similar thing did you go to an old girl school um, I went to a boarding school where we all boarded together. As okay, girls. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pretty much, um, I because I've only recently started to stop being friends <laughs> with, with stop being Helen. friends. Helen, we've actually brought you. We both brought you here today because whilst you might think you're the most together, <laughs> am we, I the toxic? We friend? both need to break up with you as a friend. <laughs> But it's so hard. No, no. But I'm writing material about this at the moment because it's so fucking hard to end a relationship with a friend because there's none of the tr- like usual tropes. So you can't just yeah. be like, I fall in love with somebody else because there's no equivalent. You can't be like, yeah. I but friend breakups are the worst. Friend like, breakups are the worst. Yeah. So I've only started doing them, and honestly, I feel like it's such a hard lesson in boundaries. But fucking hell, it also feels pretty amazing. I really, feel, I don't yeah. think I've ever broken up with a friend. I've ha- I've been broken up with by a friend, and it was I was a dog's pregnant in that situation, and it was like I was sobbing harder than any romantic breakup in my life. I do worry that I'm doing it just as like because I I've been dumped, so I'm just How, doing it are as you like, doing it explicitly or are you out. doing a, a pull out like a slow fade out? Bit of both, doing the phase out with some. Do it, had to do explicit with one. Oh my god, um, do I know them? That can't be on. That can't be on the podcast. But I will tell you afterwards. Uh, yeah, we probably <laughs> should talk about things we're actually allowed to talk about. So you're looking for dick? Yes, please. Or Is pussy? Bitch? Can I or just say that I've been really well behaved during this and have not said anything that needs to be cut out? <laughs> And also, I've never had a, um, a friendship that I had to break up with completely. So. Has no one ever broken up with you as a friend? I don't think so, but then I probably have been. Helen's like, never been, been broken up with because she's never been in a relationship. That's true. Oh, I I would Sorry, say. Sorry, I thought people would laugh and now that just sounds <laughs> brutal. Because <No, no. laughs> I have relationships in my head. Yeah. So I've never been fully rejected. Yeah. And yeah, then I was yeah. trying to figure this out the other day. I also don't get rejected because I never explicitly put myself out there. I just sort of hint at us maybe going out. Okay. So like I'll put on like a song and then just look at them. <laughs> 
<laughs> You've done that to me. Yeah. And then I wait uh-huh. and see if they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, what? That's so weird. Or if they're like, Ugh, and I'm like, oh, yeah, weird, right? Like, uh-huh. And then that's how I do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I would say that I have... Um, I often will break up with friends the same way I'll break up with partners, which is to say I'll burn the house down from the inside. Oh. So I make it, if they, if if I feel like it's toxic, I'll like set fire to it. Like I'll really double down on the toxic. I get it, yeah. And then event, and, and also some a lot of my female friendships have ended with like one of us professing feelings. Um, yeah, I have two friendships end because we had hard sex and one of them you know, so. Yeah, that's tricky, so right, tricky. let's say... As someone who hard doesn't hard need sex. to do these hard friendships, it was difficult. I've been... Soft sex doesn't end friendships. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like, right. I'm your friend, yeah, and you need to break up with me because I'm toxic as shit. Let's say I'm just constantly being like, "You're worthless piece of shit." Where does the hypothetical a... scenario start? Okay. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Do, am I? A, I could be toxic. I think. I actually find you weirdly supportive. No, I'm not. Oh well, you hide. I it don't well. believe in either of you. Oh, <laughs> I don't. I don't think you've ever lied to me. Apart that one time you told me that you weren't doing Apollo. Yeah, for I no lied reason. to you like two weeks ago. Why? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. the first lie? time. But also, like, I felt awful. Why did you feel awful? Don't. Why? I got. This is so stupid. Basically, like, I was told by loads of people that you were doing Apollo. And I was a hundred percent. So I eventually was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna message her and be like, hey, are you doing it?' Because I didn't. You don't, you're not allowed to. I'm glad tell. that rumor is out there. Yeah. You're not allowed to tell anyone that yeah. you're doing it. So you don't know who else is doing it. And it's such an exciting thing. But you also want to chat with someone about it because yeah, you're a bit stressed, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And um, so I messaged Olga, and I was like, "Are you doing it?" And she's like, "No. Are you doing it?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> And then, like, two weeks later, I was like, yeah, so I'm doing it. I'm doing <laughs> yeah. it next week. I don't know why I said no. Uh, um, uh. <laughs> That's so stressful. But I do think, like... No, I know why I said no. It's because I could see... I, I knew you were on a family holiday. And, you know, when someone, I was like, about to get broken up with. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, she, Helen's very... has a real sense for that. Yeah. I know you well enough to know that you'd be really happy that your friends have got it. But also, sometimes you're on a family holiday. Life's just sort of flowing along. You don't need someone to be like, did you get it? Well, I did. And I was like, fair, no, fair. just give her a bit of time. I would always, always be happy for you. I knew you would be. I, and also, this is something that I come back to all the time. Mm-hmm. And this is an interview I think you... Am I allowed to talk about Sarah? Just to yeah. mention really quickly. Like, I think you and Sarah did the, the year we all debuted. And it was like how people won't believe that you're just happy for your partner, period. And I remember reading that and just being like, first of all, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. But second of all, it's like, it's so true that like... I genuinely, I feel like we all really are happy for each other. Yeah, like, yeah. Whenever someone gets something that you want, you're never like, I wish I got it. You're just like, I, like instead of them, you're always like, if I would do it, I would want to do it with them. You oh, never, yeah. know, you never not want them to get it. But I was absolutely ecstatic for you, but also disappointed I didn't get it. But that was like, that's yeah, but those, yeah, but those are not yeah. such yeah, yeah, separate yeah. facts. Like, exactly. So, in that, totally. And I, and I was disappointed only, be, not because I thought it was entitled to Apollo, but because I know they came to see me and I, Obviously, didn't kick it in the dick. So I was like, oh man, what a shame. Also, mama loves money. But I don't can I finish my co- comedian uh, oh, yeah, please, theory please, really please, quickly? Please, just because I, I need it. to get this I out there. I wanted to do it, but I'm also super aware that this is like the most pointless guest of all time because nothing we're allowed to use. I'm sorry. It feels like I'm sitting here watching two women have a breakdown. I'm sorry. We've already got enough podcasts like that. Wow. <laughs> finish your theory on comedians, please. The- Oh, my theory is is that I'm a, a real life six, a, a comedy industry eight, and so I might as well just get with hotter people because they know that I, I don't know have been on QI. Okay, you're uh, an eight and ten. No, I don't think so. I do. Love that. I agree. Um, but I also totally know what you mean. I think that I'm a real world four, but in oh comedy, please, but in oh, comedy, okay. this is not going to be. And it's like nice. It's nice. Also, by the way, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, first of all, you need to get up and go <gasps> have have a shower and have some breakfast. It's an audio medium. Go do something yeah. while listening. To but us. also, thank you for joining us. But I do feel like I should say that I very unfairly, um, although I think you look lovely, set you up because I did. I forgot to tell you. That yeah, you're a piece of shit. Video and that you're we're part of. <laughs> I'm a comedy eight. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm a comedy three, but a real life seven. This is also true. Yeah, it's true. I'm a comedy three because I'm straight, the and the guys say. in comedy are fucking tiny, so oh. I get uh. taken down. Oh, I thought you were a comedy three because of your material. Also, um, because of the but, shit I then... say. <laughs> yeah, because of that bit that you do. Uh, I don't believe in consent, anyways. I, got it. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> from not from guys, like from no one's me. consented to you. Like I get like a no from someone, and I'm like, but I'm still in love, so I'll keep tripping away. Like, oh, I you're a man. Yeah. Okay, cool. You know what? I'm still figuring it out. You I are. feel like with new material, we allow people a month 
of like playing around with no what? Consent. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, not with, not with okay. consent. Thank you, Mitch. So what Very I true. Not was with consent. maybe I could use my female privilege. No. To play around with the idea of like when I was at school, if I really fancied someone, I asked them out and they went no. I'd be like, okay, well, we'll see, and I would try again. Right. And I feel like that's very. I think that truthful is- to myself. I mean, it's also indicative of a woman whose boobs were growing fast in school. I also have we'll like, also okay. Rack. We'll try again next month. But it's the response <laughs> to like, he's mean to you because he likes you, right? That's the yeah. And also, yeah. he was gay, so it wasn't gonna happen. Okay, but we've all time, fucked a gay guy. Come I on. thought it was because I've not fucked a gay guy. Oh, excuse me. I, I've not fucked a gay guy. Not even for not the even myself, a closeted one. The great oh, actually, chat. that's a lie. Never mind. I just remembered. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, I'm sorry. We are female comedians. This the, we only get into this because someone d- realized they were gay while dating. Well, us. inside us, yeah. No, I, I've never dated him, but we, he, you, ah, uh, yeah. No, but he was soft in me. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> soft in you. Yeah, let's let's. Um, Did he leave the uh, condom behind? Soft no, I in me. I, soft in me. I literally forgot that. And he then was. that was in the living room of a girl who I then went on to date for a year. What a nightmare. What the things you black out, eh? Shall we talk about um, soft in me? Anyway, I think I've sold myself as the perfect person to solve the your problem. you talk so. to me when I had that condom left in me in Valentine's Day about <laughs> making better choices <laughs> and putting myself first. You know this one? Like I got no. the condom left in me and then instead of looking me out, he put on the Goofy movie and we just sat there watching it. <laughs> oh, it's such it. a good story. Um, <laughs> you <laughs> and you gave me the, like the an hour long speech. About self-worth. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I was 19 when that happened and I grew from it. Yeah, I was 29. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the goofy movie. Do you want to just hold hands really quick? Yeah, I think we need big to. Time. I need to. <sighs> okay, thank you this for listening. We're all I gonna... will apologise to the person that sent in a problem for us to talk about this week. No, I think we're well equipped to solve problems. Can we problems. solve my problem? Because I have a text message. I, I need we you. don't have yes, time. Yes, no, we... Oh. Okay, let's... If, if you let's have time, we have go. time. But, like, I just... If you have There's time, no we way we're fixing. Fine, uh, fine, fine. Oh, we, okay, fine. Let's solve if that we problem. We genuinely believe we can fix Olga's problem within the space of twenty four okay, so hours. So, wow. I am sorry. Why wow, the judgment is real? Let's just quickly <laughs> say one thing that we've done good in romantic or sexual relationships, yep. so we can have the listener trust us. Yeah. Okay. When I was offered it by the two hottest people I had met on at that point in my life, I said yes to a threesome. <gasps> Full oh of my god okay honestly proud of myself i don't know you very well but everything i know about you i love thanks because i remember posting a story about that <laughs> like loving loving the taipei girl at the club where you're just like oh she's probably a square and then like she parties harder than everyone else and then you responded to it and i was like i love you i think we're very similar I think so as well. I think we're very similar in that I think <clears throat> that we uh, go and go and go and go and go and go yeah. and then we melt down, but that yeah. always involves sex with. I think if the people. two yeah. of you work together, you would take over the entire world. Can you imagine? That I would give you, yeah. And the world's been but waiting we'd be too miserable. Wild. Yeah, no, truly, truly, neither of us would sleep. I, I don't sleep think you'd mind being miserable. <laughs> I also think we're so clean cut on stage that the idea, like, I'm openly surprised that you would had a threesome, but also I'm just like, I'd have a fucking threesome. I, yeah. I literally asked for one two days. Two ago. of the most intelligent women. You know? Why how was how are those contradictory facts? I feel like dumb slut. <laughs> oh. <laughs> have threesome. I feel like no. I no, I like, don't I mean, mean that. What was the makeup? Know that they're going to age will <gasps> have a threesome. It's like, well, well Catherine, congratulations. Nobody's gonna be offering this to me in a while. Congratulations, Olga. Two girls? No, one girl, one guy, and they both did CrossFit. <laughs> Holy I was shit. Like, Lil, what am I doing here? It was that's great. Too much energy. That sounds hot. It was a great that time. And they were hot. talkers. Oh, a good time. Anyway. That sounds want- really hot. Okay. Okay. Just tell us one thing from your like that I've done well in a relationship. Just to prove like, that, that, that we're worthy moment. of fo- solving other people's problems. Oh, God. I Can you do one so, while I think of mine? Um, I, Can I suggest one for you? Yeah. Don't you buy incredibly expensive uh, lube? Oh, I do. How do you know this? Uh, you put it everywhere on your Instagram. It's, <laughs> it, it's crazy that you think you're clean cut on stage because... Um, I mean, I wear dresses. That's what I mean. Yeah, me too. But <laughs> you've also like... The other day you put up a story with uh, like a dildo, a oh, real looking dildo, a very like Yeah, I had to delete basis. that because it, 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 it was like insane. Yeah, but it was like bigger than my ar- my forearm and I was like, oh, okay, cool. I play. <laughs> uh, I thought it was funny, but then I, the responses that I got, I was like, oh no, people are taking it the wrong way and I should have known. I should have known. Yeah, I, you do seem surprised by that, which is 
odd to me because I thought that was gonna only lead to bad things. <laughs> but also the dildo was funny. Uh, yeah, I buy very, very expensive lube. It's called Uber Lube, and honestly, once you try it, you never go back. It doesn't pill. Other lubes pill. Wow. Other lubes are like smell weird because they're always yeah. like, it's fucking blue raspberry. And it's like, who asked for this? Yeah. Uber Lube. Forever. I remember getting a natural condom when I was a teenager and trying it. It tastes like wood. <laughs> like literal wood. It was not good. <laughs> the flavor is natural, and it was just like a fucking forest. What, like those car fresheners? <gasps> yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was the scent. Oh, like an oud. No. And this is like oh, the phase when you no. Oh. first try Durex strawberry lube and you're like this is delicious oh, no like you're just sort of like Hell I would no. genuinely eat this just for lols oh my this is why God. I can't have it in the house because then I'm just sort of like having a <laughs> teaspoon every now and again just as like a little pick me up treat <laughs> I love. Uh, are we gonna be bad flavor. today? You're not. Oh my she god! Like crazy. She crazy. <laughs> Just me secret eating from my parents' cupboards when I was a child. Like, uh. from your parents. Oh, oh sweet Jesus! Quick god. question: Does it have a jelly or a velvet feel? Velvety sort of feel, if you know what I mean. I guess velvety. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I, I really, really recommend it. The, the fact that it doesn't pill velvet up. Lube. It doesn't Come pill on. up, and I love that. Thank you, Olga. Let's okay. And mine is that I thoroughly wash my vagina so I don't get a yeast infection. After. But you do use the wrong soap slash any soap. Why would you, you put soap up your paws? that's what I said. Because so douche it out with my finger. Like you got, no. you know what? Oh, I know I'm doing this. No, I'm not doing baby, this for someone no. else. So right, have I got the question for Yeah, us? we're going to ask okay. you, we're going to tell you something that somebody emailed in to trustyhogs at gmail.com with their problem. <sighs> All right. Trusting that we could help them. So this is the problem we've got this week. This is from E. Ooh. Yeah, we're not doing the names, like just the letter. Okay, so I've never dated anyone ever and I'm currently feeling distinctly undateable. I live somewhere that's unexpectedly shit for queers and obviously the apps are meh. I'm in my early 30s and I'm so bored of everyone I know being coupled. Do I just have to accept I'm going to be forever alone? No, that's awful. Or is there another way to look at it? How do you hold out hope and stay sane? Question. I love your nails. Thank you so much. That is not helpful to E. Um, I think E, I the if they want a partner, could do their nails to start with. Because <laughs> it all starts with how yeah, you look on the outside. <laughs> um, first of all, there's, I think there's a long-term and a short-term solution. Short-term, I think, undermine all of your friends' relationships. <laughs> That Offer seems- a threesome. Start doing CrossFit. Oh, nice. Yeah, but I don't you feel like one of their main issues there is that everybody else is coupled up. I'd say start with undoing that. Yeah. As quickly as possible. Um, okay, healthy, healthy. Away. No, no. Yeah, um, yeah. No, I, I think I grew up in somewhere that was shit for queer people, like really, really awful. I um once went on a dating app at home and I think the fourth person I saw in there was my sister and I didn't know she was out. <gasps> she wasn't. Um and so you know yeah. we didn't talk about so that. You fucked. So we <laughs> fucked. Uh, no but she's super hot so and close. it makes sense. <laughs> um actually no it's really weird. My siblings don't want to fuck me which I find really strange because my sister's bi and my brother's dating a redhead. So wow what? definitely my personality. Yeah. So rude. They do, Rough. they do. Um, I know, right? So rude. Uh but I think uh, but it is dispiriting. Uh but there is ab uh, no, I mean, like nowadays, you can definitely find a queer community online. Yeah. That helped me so much. Oh my God, I used to read. Um, do you ever read Autostraddle? I have no idea what that is. Okay, it's this trash, I want to say Portland based, like hyper sexualized, sort of agony ant website for lesbians. Oh, very nice. They do a thing called A Camp where everyone goes and, like, I presume Fox in the Woods. And um, they do like opinion pieces on any television show with even like a lesbian in the background. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That kind yeah. of thing. And it, you would just read this website? Yeah, it saved me. <gasps> it saved me. When I was when I didn't know any other queer people and it was it felt like, oh, okay, they're out there somewhere and Aww. this is giving me reference points and also now I know what the jokes on the L word mean. So that's a <laughs> right. You know what I mean? I like needed That's a, really, really sweet. I needed someone to parse it for me. So I think connect where you can online. Um and but also like lit can we talk about the undateable thing because i don't think anybody is no but i will say as someone who is also 30 and hasn't had a relationship i totally get that sort of like stress and fear that you're like oh like it's never gonna work out like it doesn't mean that you don't date but like nothing ever clicks you do feel a little bit like why can't i do this really basic thing in life that everyone does and it's because everyone wants something different from a relationship and sometimes people just aren't there for it do you know what i mean like i want a relationship some days but most days i don't feel like i'm missing anything 
which I think isn't that common. But I think that's quite a healthy way to be because if you it's if you're not happy unhealthy, in yourself... but it also creates a lot of questions for people. And a lot of like, like what's going on there? Like, why can't they have a relationship? Are they doing it like secretly? But I think if you're happy in your own life, you're more likely to be like, to pick somebody who's good for you. Totally. But it's like knowing that like happy in your own life, like it seems everything. Like one day you're like, I couldn't give a shit that I haven't had a relationship. I don't mind. And then another, you have a whole week of being like, oh my God, what am I doing wrong? Why is it like everyone I date? I'm like, okay, yeah, well then I could be, no, but I don't want to be in a relationship with them. But like, when will the right person come along? You know? What do you think they should do, Olga? Well, my my worldview has always been such, and the thing is, I am famously a serial monogamist who goes feral every two years. So I would not <laughs> say that I. My, and I like your feral period. <laughs> I mean, I am much more fun. I um, so so I don't think that my model works, but my philosophy when it comes to dating overall and the red flags that I'm seeing in that message is, you can never have goals in mind. Don't do it because if your goal is to find a partner, you're going to project a false compatibility on the first person so you meet. So true. If your goal is to Ooh, fuck that around. that one hit a little bit too close to home. <laughs> and, then, and then if you if your goal is to fuck around and have lots of casual sex and then like almost over assign this casualness to every encounter you have, you have you risk like overlooking someone you're really compatible and really get along with. The amount of times that like, also one of my pet peeves in casual sex is people being mean to each other just, f- just to reinforce the casualness. Be like, by the way, I yeah. don't want to marry you. It's like, Baby, you liked me enough to fuck me. It's fine. We yeah, can, yeah, we can be nice to each other. But that's that's a that's but a that is thing. so true. That philosophy of like, if you like, say that you want, like, you can have a relationship if you want. Like, there's no. My sister's calling. This is so okay. annoying. But basically, yeah. So I think having anything in mind, whether you don't want a relation, not wanting a relationship, and wanting a relationship are both completely toxic mindsets yeah. that you need to just purge out of yourself. How do you do that? Distract yourself. Just try and try not to like, I think as again, huge planners and control freaks, obviously I want like I've married everyone I've ever kissed in my head. Oh, but, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. But it's like, it's, it's also just, you need to, you need to acknowledge that like you can only take a day, one day at a time. Yeah. Yeah. This is good advice. That is a very solid and advice. And also I would say move. Oh, I'd have said. Just a simple one. Yeah, you could move. Uh, or I would also strongly recommend wanking. Uh, I think oh, that's that if one. you're um if you were feeling like you're missing something like intimacy and that true, kind true. of enjoyment, I do think getting to know yourself and enjoying yourself is like a nice way to feel. And like, oh, there's a free. lot of different options out there for wanking. Also, we're no have... longer on the corner of tables. You know, the world's gone further. <laughs> the world's gone further. Uh, the corners vibrate now. Uh, 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 <laughs> I, yeah, but also it's just like that sounds with the internet and everything. I think this person could get into a whole lot of like long distance romances with like really long emails and playlists oh and my god yes. get catfished that is, <laughs> that is literally perfect right we solved it if you Sorted. want a community get yourself catfished online and then get neve and max to come and help you out yes. then all the other it's basically like the ultimate dating show because everyone will feel it. bad for you and then they'll reach out to you because mm. your profile will be put online then you get a relationship get catfished yeah are you putting yourself out there enough to be catfish. Exactly. That's the you real are welcome. E nice or to talk R. To you. <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, Olga. Thank you, Olga. Come Anytime. on, you great. Oh, is this the end? Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Please don't touch my face. I have an acne. Tell issue. me. Oh my God. <laughs> um, thank you. Go see Olga and tour. Bye. Woo. Oh, no, wait, wait. Go back. Go back. That's a very good point. Go Olga and tour. Out. Olga, um, it'll be out in three weeks. So when can people see you? Uh, go out, follow me on Twitter at Rock and Rolga. Yes. And then also you're on tour till when? I'm on tour until October, so I don't think this is going to come out. Actually, maybe it might. Yeah, it I'm might on do. tour. You can buy tickets at rockandrolga.com. And also you can listen to Human Error, my podcast about technology. What the fuck? Don't do that. We have our own podcast. Oh, sorry, bit, guys. Don't do it. Rude. That's sick. <laughs> Human Error, you'll well, learn. Imagine coming to a threesome and then making a pitch for just fucking you. That's like <laughs> insane. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, wow. God. Woo. Yes. It's if you're. I don't know how to explain how that guest interaction went. Like, <laughs> I'll say from my point of view as the Zen one for today, it was a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm impressed with whatever you heard from Andrew's edit because I don't know how that's going to be edited. Yeah, here's how that that interview in person went. Oh my god, here's some hot gossip. You can't put that on the podcast. Oh my god, I have some I have some strong feelings. You can't put that on the podcast. Hot tea, everybody. You can't put that on the podcast. Headlines are 
Catherine and Olga have both had sex. <laughs> that's pretty much, that's kind of all there is to Not it. Not with each other. Not with each, yet. Sadly. I've made out with her. I know. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm really being left out. You'll get there. You'll get there. Uh, fingers crossed. We can all but hope. Um, so that is, uh, that was our guest for today. And we hope you enjoyed episode three. If you would like, if you have enjoyed the podcast, please, please, please like and subscribe. Oh my God, um, please do. It makes such a difference. Please rate us, but only if you enjoyed yourself. Don't be a fucking dick about it. Or just give uh, it five stars either way. Like, yeah. It, what does it, what does it cost back. you? What it's does it fine. cost you? It costs you nothing. Come on. And also, if you would like to actually be cost something by this podcast <laughs> how are you gonna transition please 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 support us on patreon because that's the only way we can make it is that we're currently paying for it out of our own pockets and my god we'd love to have some patrons and it starts at three pounds it goes up to 50 we're aware 50 is a massive ass so three pounds that's the price of a cup of coffee a month you can do three you can do five you can do 10 you can do 15 whatever you fa- whatever you can afford we'll absolutely take from we you super super appreciate it we'd be so grateful in fact there are some people who've already <laughs> By the way, we're a bit delayed on announcing the names of patrons because we made a couple of episodes at the start so that we would get ahead of things, so that we'd have some in the bank. Yeah. Um, and so the people who so far, who signed up as patrons before we even released the podcast are Guy, Karen, Tony, Anthony, Harold, and Mike. And we're so Thank you grateful guys so, to you. so, so much. What absolute blind faith in our ability to make something. We're so, we're so grateful to you. So thank you. So, but also if you- You're all hog kings and queens. Yes. <laughs> and if you donate a certain amount, you get to become a producer of the the podcast we'll call out your name every bloody week yes please yes but thank you hugs. so much we appreciate it and if you have liked it and you aren't able to help us in any way financially we totally get it we've both been broke before please make sure you go and tell five friends about us yes, it makes such people. a difference word of mouth tweet about it instagram it but also just go up to a mate that you're like i think you'll enjoy this awful chat about taints yes like yes please or if you have a person you think will hate it, but you also hate them, mm. pass on the good word. You know mm. what I mean? Oh my God, every time I listen to this podcast, I think of you. That's like, oh, what, is, what shade? Gorgeous. That's such yeah. a nice way about you. Well, thanks yes. so much. Watch on YouTube, subscribe, like everything. Bye. No. <laughs>